So posterior, we take three leads, we call it V7, 8, and 9. We move V4, V5, V6, we take it, we bring it around the patient's back. If a patient has inferior wall MI on your EKG, do a right side EKG. It's a tip off that you might find a right ventricular infarct. What is the tip off? Why I'm going to randomly do a posterior EKG and spend my time doing that on a critical patient. Why? Here's why. With the posterior MI, okay, that's obviously we have the anterior of the front, that means the back of the heart. What that means, you may see on a normal EKG, normal placement EKG with the left side of the chest, we talked about earlier, V1, V2, or V3 is depressed and there's nothing else going on but that. That's what I mean by none. So you do an EKG, you see SC depression in V1 and V2, or V2 and V3, and nothing else. Your first thought, do a posterior. V7, 8, and 9, right across the back. 